The following program is brought to you by Whiteman TV and Bruce Telecom. and welcome to this month's edition of What's Happening in North Perth. My name is Sharon Darcy and I'm the General Manager to the North Perth Chamber of Commerce. And I absolutely love my job. We get a chance to meet a lot of businesses and a lot of members just passing through this community and we welcome you to come in and visit us anytime and hopefully we can help you to continue your shopping discovering North Perth. This month, we have a lot of interesting businesses that we have went out to visit, and we hope you enjoy our show. Hi, my name is Kira, and this month, Community of Character celebrates responsibility. I will choose to be responsible by being accountable and completing tasks on my own. For example, every morning and every night I do some chores like making my bed, um, brushing my teeth, and getting dressed on my own. This month's character challenge is choose to honor all of your commitments even when it's difficult to do so. Have a great month. Thank you, Kira. And most of the time you do those chores without asking, which means you're also accountable for that, right? Yes. <laughs> January starts a whole new year for us for community character as the new year starts for uh, the world and we are very excited about all the things that we are hoping to work on this year to continue to encourage everyone to live work and play with character we are already starting to gear up for our run in May if you are interested in joining our team or volunteering on that day or even running please contact communityofcharacter.ca or check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you'll see more details there. As always, please live, work, and play with character. Thanks, and have a great month. So I'm really excited to be here with Graham Brown, owner of New You Personal Training Studio, and I'm really excited to share not only that you're new to Listowel, you're a new chamber member, and um, this building is fantastic. So we'd like to just ask a few questions, Graham. Just let's, could you tell us about how you started? Sure. Um, so my wife Allison and I, we moved to Listowel about two and a half years ago, and one of the ways we got started was we we went to a park about a block away from our house and thought, well. We don't really know anybody here yet, so let's you know maybe do what we do best and try doing a boot camp and see if people take to it. And uh, sure enough, they did very quickly, and it started to grow and snowball. And uh, it got to a point where you know the weather was changing, and we had to find a way to keep working with people. So we ended up finishing our basement, turning it into a studio to start with, and uh, we worked with clients throughout the winter, so all through the summer of the next year, and then bang, we got into, uh, we said, we, we can't do this. We've got people coming and going at all hours of the night. My kids are, <laughs> my kids are losing interest here quickly, so we better find a commercial space to actually house all these people, and uh, here we are. And this building was really perfect for you to uh, expand on and open the doors to. Absolutely. It, was, it blew us away that this was even available, um, and we found great ways to make it work. Uh, the space has ample parking, uh, more than enough space. We actually, all the design work was done. We had two defined spaces to be able to work with clients. Uh, the trails and the outdoor space, it's green. I mean, yeah. the the uh, the golf course maintains it. So, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. So, uh, we can take clients outdoors when it's hot. We can have them in here when it's cold. Uh, and it just, uh, it takes our space and probably quadruples what we can do through the summer months, yeah. So it's obviously a little bit more to do than just your building and your space. You've got a unique program here. It's offering everybody. So I think this is what we want to move into now. Tell us a little bit about 
you and the programs that you offer? Sure. Uh, so here at New U, we're really interested in offering complete solutions for people. So my wife and I, we've actually managed a gym in Hanover, uh, New Heights Fitness, for I would say about eight or nine years now. It's been in the family for a long time. And so we had access to lots of different clients and success stories. And we decided that when we were going to really get serious here and, and get into a commercial space that we would go back, we'd look at clients and say, okay, what was the common threads with the ones who are successful? Not just short term, but the ones who are successful long term and uh, we came up with the program that we, we bring in here which is really offering complete solutions so we do have the you know the training the typical training that people are used to the one-on-one -on -one and small group but above and beyond the awesome workouts that we do uh, we look at the nutrition piece and that's one that I, I kind of jokingly said before our industry has driven people crazy about <laughs> so we want to find a way to balance that nutrition with the way that they're eating and then also filling in the nutritional gaps with really good quality supplementation okay uh, the body's got a new demand you're exercising you're building and repairing and most of us have some nutritional voids let's be honest we're missing some stuff in our diet so we found the best quality uh, non-gmo organic whole food uh, supplementation to, to bring on board to help our clients with as well so when we put that whole picture together we add in awesome trainers, a great facility, and a whole lot of accountability for people. I mean, the results just, they happen. It becomes instantaneous. So they also learn not only about the physical part, but the, also the emotional and probably the, the, the food, the portions, the... Absolutely. Why we nourish our bodies and... Absolutely. We actually do, uh, with all of our personal training clients, we do one-on-one, -on -one, sit down individual sessions to find out their portions, the right size, the right times, but then also how to deal with some of the lifestyle issues that come along with it and how to manage that, you know, stress from all of this and change and and uh, we really look at the whole person and, and work on a solution that best fits them. Do you know, um, this is something we haven't really brought up in our conversations sure. before, Graham, but um, mental health has always uh. been something that's the, that that's near and dear to even me. So uh, a lot of the information that share through mental health is about looking after yourself physically and uh, the, the nutrients that go in, 100%. hand in hand. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Um, we see people's lives change. You know, I, we all, I say this as a company, we get excited every time we get to work with people because we see that change happening on a daily basis with people. And yes, mental health is, is a huge issue and component of this. I mean, loads of studies have shown that, you know, diet and exercise, balancing that out for people, uh, better than Prozac. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, it's something right. that can be done to help people and help all areas of your life. I mean... Yeah. It, to me, it just becomes that no-brainer, and, and to me, it becomes the thing that just gets us excited because we see that impact, not just on an individual, but on a community, and that's why we're here. So we're also gearing up to um, a new year. Yeah. So new you, new year. Yeah. Um, you offer this program not just to individuals, okay. but because of what you have available, you go wider than that. Yeah, absolutely. So we do internally uh, with a nutrition component, an internal challenge. We do it in January, May, and September. It's consistent. It's actually done North America wide through a number of different uh, clubs and, and fitness studios. But then we also have a corporate component where we can actually go to businesses. We can sit down with them and we can offer a 28-day nutrition program because I won't be able to have a gym in every town in the area. I totally understand that. It would be great. But um, if we can look at the nutrition piece for those people, no matter what gym they go to, within their company, we can look at that 28-day challenge to really get employees and employers on board and, and really helping their health and wellness. It would be probably a lot more fun to do this with somebody than do it alone. And Absolutely. and the challenge is the big thing. Well, you know, Joe beside me is always yeah. saying he's doing something, but he's not. Maybe we can do it together. So, Absolutely. so maybe that would be something you mentioned, like a challenge. Is. Definitely. And cha why, why 28 days? It takes about 28 days to really start uh, a new habit for people and to really get that ingrained. So we want this to be the starting point, but definitely not the finishing point. We want people to feel like it's something that's manageable that I can do. And then what typically we find is after the 28 days, they're hooked. 
they're excited, they're ready to actually make this change more long term. And, and again, that's our ultimate goal with everyone is to find a way to do this, not just short term, these quick fix things that, you know, will drive you crazy over time. <laughs> they never last. They never last. Yeah. So we've got to find a way to find something that you can do that's sustainable, consistent over life. So that's why we have real food. Love it. It yeah. sounds fantastic. Yeah. We've covered a lot of things. Absolutely. Graham, is there anything else that you think we should... We're going to have, obviously, hopefully showing everybody a little bit of uh, around the, the building. Absolutely. Um, I think the biggest thing that, that people will find here is that we're, we're not a gym, and that's not a bad thing. Um, we're totally different. Um, we are a community, actually. Community is one of our core values. So what we've, again, found is most people, they come here, um, they're scared, maybe intimidated, don't really feel like they fit in in a big gym. And they come here, they find a group of like-minded people, um, and we do a lot to nurture that sense of community. We really uh, build people, build community inside. And then it also, the cool thing is it starts to impact the community on the outside. So uh, that's, that's a huge thing for us. So you're welcoming anybody to come in, call in, Absolutely. talk to any of the staff. Absolutely. And you have quite a number of staff here. We do. We absolutely do. So we have, uh, my wife and I, obviously we do some of the training. We also have two additional trainers and a full-time administrative person. And I am actually currently in the process of looking at another one or two trainers to help uh, deal with the demand. And actually, technically, I also have a, an on-call trainer that comes and fits in as well, too. So so quite a growing business. We, for, uh... Yeah, we're, we're really starting to, to get there. And again, uh, there's a demand. So... We're trying to fit that. Uh, and would you suggest not only the listable location, but your Hanover location? Absolutely. So we, like I said, Allison and I, we offer uh, a full capacity gym in Hanover. It has a women's only studio CrossFit in there as well. Um, but again, we take the same approach. So we offer an all-inclusive environment, especially when it comes to the, the CrossFit or the group training model, as well as the personal training model. It is becoming an all-inclusive model because, again, we're learning that if you put that whole picture together for people and we take out the guesswork completely, you don't have, if, I can have an impact in one hour a day on a person, um, but if I can help them manage the other 23 hours in a day when they're not with me, that's where the real results come from. So we look at that whole picture up there as well too. So let's make it really simple for people to get a hold of you. Sure, absolutely. Uh, they can call us here at the studio anytime. It's 226-430-2175. Or they can email us at info at newustudio.ca. Those are the best ways. Um, absolutely, you can go on our website, check us out, learn a little bit more about what we're doing here. Uh, that's www.newustudio.ca. That has all the information about the different nutrition programs, some uh, different free things that are in there as far as the newsletter and, uh, and reports that we can offer for it's people and passes website, and trials. Right? So yeah. yeah, we're working on it. So Perfect. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Cream. So I'm pleased to be with Janine Lutenegger of the new Fresh Express, a very familiar looking vehicle that we're going to see lots in our communities. Janine, this is a new project and new, mm -hmm. a whole new thing for you. So can you tell us a little bit about, um, first, how did you come <laughs> up with this idea? Um, well, I was working at an office job, I was in sales, and I quickly realized that that's maybe not quite something that was for me. So um, I was actually born in Switzerland. So I go over quite often to go visit, visit my grandparents and all my family over there. And the one thing I always looked forward to is going on the grocery truck that comes to my grandma's house twice a week um, for the last 30 years. So I then that I just grew up with that. Every time I was over there, I just always looked forward to it, probably because my grandma brought, bought me chocolate every time <laughs> I was on there, so why wouldn't you? Um, and then the last couple times I was over there, I just I really started looking at, at it more of a, as a business idea. I, I went on the truck and I, and I started asking him all these questions and one thing led to another and next thing I knew I was going over to Switzerland to shadow him for a few days and just to get a better sense of how he does it and then I made the leap of faith as kind of to say and I decided to start it over here. I thought that um, there's, there is a need for it in small communities like Listowel or um, especially communities kind of outside of Listowel 
that don't have a grocery store. A lot of these smaller places used to have general stores and that don't anymore. So uh, I thought, well, hey, why not try it? Like I'm young and I'm nothing to lose. So I bought um, an old Perlator truck and remodeled the inside and made it look like a little mini grocery store. So that's well. That, so the idea actually came from Switzerland. So that's it's an it's mm-hmm. amazing idea and, and to think the grocery store at your door <laughs> is tells the whole story. Um, but you're servicing such a large area right now too, right? Yeah. So, so I'm actually uh, I go as far as like Teeswater and Formosa and and I find actually the farther north that I get the the less. Um, kind of services like this there are like Teeswater is a is a town of a thousand people and they used to have a grocery store but they just couldn't keep it going so um, a thousand people and it's, and it's primarily uh, an aging population and they don't have a grocery store anymore so now I go to Teeswater twice a week and it's packed every time I go there and people seem to love it so hopefully I can continue like that through the winter and and do you just like basically like, come into the small communities uh, find a central location mm-hmm. Pulling, honk your horn, I'm here, honey, I'm, I'm still, home. I'm still looking for an ice cream bell. I think that would just be the coolest. <laughs> but yeah, so essentially I just, uh, yeah, find a central location. Um, that was That's what I've been doing so far. I'm, I'm really, really trying to um, push now, especially coming into the winter, um, the direct stops at people's homes. I think that especially for the winter, that sort of thing will become more popular. And I've, I've already seen it as the weeks are getting colder, it's becoming more popular. Like this week already, I've had a number of calls for people, for me to go directly to people's homes, which is perfect for me. And, and if you can get your neighbors out, perfect. <laughs> I, I think that makes sense. I, I wonder if people are so understanding and mm-hmm. compassionate and they think it's a big question, will you, because this is such a new thing here. Yeah. Like Janine, will you come to my house? Yeah. Yeah, I find that sometimes people are almost a little bit shy to ask that, but. I, but like by all means, like I'm super encouraging of it now, like especially now that I see, I think people are, have, are a lot more comfortable if they just, if it's just them in the truck and they can just do whatever and they're just, they're just piling stuff on my little desk and like, yeah. and it's fun. They bring their kids out and they can just, like I've had a lot of moms just plop their kids on my lap and they're like, you're good, <laughs> right? I'm like, yeah, we're good. Don't worry. I can take care of your two year old. <laughs> it's awesome. No, I love it. It's, it, it, it's been, it's been a lot yeah. of fun. So and far. really let's talk about when you launched this uh, just recently, right? Yeah, actually July 7th was my very first day. So it's super new <laughs> and you're getting to know your clients. Yeah. Right? So you'll, are you having to find that you're altering what you're carrying to meet their needs oh, more or every day yeah. I'm learning like, well, essentially when I started, it was a whole, it was like a guessing game. Like I had no idea. Like I, I know what I like. So I just stocked the truck with everything that I like <laughs> and, uh, apparently everyone's tastes are different. So <laughs> I've had to alter that a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, like it's every day has been a whole new learning experience and I love that you have yeah. a bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, that it really does feel like a grocery store, mm. and um, people people can find what they want. And I, I think as you go along, you're going to know exactly what you need to have. Yeah. But you're stocking and restocking all the time, and every day. Yeah. Every day I get um, I get fresh baked bread every morning. Uh, I get um, I get all my meats from Harrison Meat Packers, so I get that a couple times a week. And I get, yeah, just every day, produce a couple times a week comes in and, and it's just, yeah, every day is a new. And, and the and nice part about a little bit of that whole local feel is it's not just local as in you're dropping into people's places, but you're actually carrying a lot of the products that are from yes. around here, right? Oh yeah, like I, I, um, I also stock some like lunch items, some, like soups and salads and sandwiches and I um, work with Kitchen Cupboard and let's still here with that and they're, they've been so awesome to deal with and yeah, just I, I like try to work with as many local businesses as possible and try That's to. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. So how can people get a hold of you? Like, oh, I can't just let, just say, that. I have to mention the fact that uh, your Facebook account has great ideas of what you can make make with the products that are in your yeah. in your in your truck right yeah well a lot of the t- honestly a lot of the times uh we'll be making supper and we'll just like what's for supper <laughs> like go there's a grocery store in our backyard so yeah. uh, so we just go out and make supper with what we have on the truck or what i have on the truck and then it's just awesome being able to take a picture of that and be like hey this is what i had for supper and everything's from the truck and yeah. it, it gives people ideas and and it just show, goes to show the variety that I have on my truck. It's not just produce. Like that and that's the conception a lot of people
people have is that it's just produce, but it's a little bit of everything, yeah. quite literally. Quite literally, so. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, so uh, let's talk about how people can get a hold of you. Yes. What's the best way? Just give you a call? Yeah, you can give me a call. My number is 292-1214, uh, and that's 519 area code, or just uh, online, you can find me at uh, freshexpress.ca. And uh, Express is spelled with an X. There's no E in front, just so everyone knows. And uh, yeah, like online, on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Give yeah. me a call, email, whatever. Like I, yeah. And your schedule is Everyone. nice to be right on, on the internet so they can mm -hmm. get it, take a look at it, find out where you are, when you're coming, and, yes. and maybe be aware of when they can schedule yeah. a stop. Yeah, so uh, yeah, my schedule is, again, on my website, on social media. Um, I do advertise in the local paper here, the Banner and the Independent Plus, uh, so they can find out more information in that as well. Excellent, mm -hmm. and we'd like to congratulate you. Mm -hmm. The Chamber's uh, really wanting to be the champion of some of these entrepreneurs that are coming in and, and setting up shop uh, in North Perth and uh, helping our residents, giving them what they need, finding the services, the whole thing. So way to go, Janine. Thank you. The chamber's been awesome to work with. <laughs> we like to hear that. We want yeah, to hear that. Yeah, have been. Yeah. Thanks, Janine. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs>I am thrilled to be here with Helene Jacobson of Nine Waves, who have just opened a store in Listowel. First, thank you. That's wonderful that you've chosen Listowel to open up your third store. Um, let's start by just talking about what made you the entrepreneur that you are today. It kind of came a little bit like an oopsie. <laughs> My husband has an import company uh, where he imports agriculture products from Denmark. And uh, since he had a lot of Dutch farmers as uh, customers, they wanted um, wooden clocks. So um, we started importing them and we ran out of space for his office. So we opened an office downtown Lucknow, uh, but it was an old store. So we put some of the clocks in the windows for them not to look empty. And before I knew it, people came in and wanted to buy them. So I had to go get a till and a vendor's permit. And <laughs> that's the start of Nine Waves. <laughs> So um, after people were asking for your clogs, you decided uh, what? Well, I, well we, went to, we went to a shoe show to see what, what's this all about because really I haven't been in retail before. So it was a new experience. We had to figure out what is this all about. And so we went to a shoe show and this old guy ran after us down the hallway with uh, Crocs. And I uh, said, this is going to be the new next thing. And I thought, well, we're close to the water. I can see, and it's practical for kids. Host them off. You're good to go. You don't wreck anything. So I started with the Crocs. It was one of the first outlets for Crocs in Ontario. <laughs> so um, from then on, it just kind of went into handbags and more shoe brands. And then I was kind of, I felt I was caught in the middle with clothing in Canada. Uh, for my size, I'm fairly tall. I'm 5'9", 10", around that area, and not a size zero either so I kind of always felt that I was caught in between sizes in a lot of clothing um, I kind of maxed out a lot of the regular lines if I wanted to look cheek and smart um, so I felt I either had to go to a wedding or wearing sweatpants or get something out of the Sears catalog <laughs> so I didn't really want that so that's how I started importing my own clothing lines because I said it can't be right you can't be semi dressy and look great no matter what size you are tall short um, curvier or, or slim doesn't really matter uh, there should be something that looks great on anybody so is that where you began importing from home yes it was because that was the lines I was familiar with and that I was comfortable with so yeah so I go to uh, Denmark twice a year to buy a lot of my lines and that's why a lot of our lines in nine waves are exclusive to us in Canada and people can find these uh, stores in three locations yeah, there's here in Listowel, and then we have a store in Lucknow, uh, right on Highway 86, and then uh, downtown Kincardine, uh, right on the main street in Kincardine. Yeah. And you ha have a nice website, that's where I saw a lot of things too, so... Yeah, we're currently working a bit on them, but it's really, it's, it's going to be good. Uh, I want to try to represent some of the lines, but a lot of the lines, because it is designer wear, it's very good to come in and try it on. Um, a lot of the things don't really look like anything on the hanger. It needs a, a body inside to look great. Mm -hmm. And your store is packed. Like, um, and, and you have something for everyone. I noticed there's men's, there's children's, and there's shoes, and there's... 
there's a little bit for kids, not a whole lot. Um, I have a few outerwear wear pieces from Helly Hansen for kids and then a few uh, boots and that. But kids is a, a tricky market yeah. I find um, because they grow out of it so fast. So sometimes I think people are a little bit more reluctant to spend more money on kids wear uh, because it has a very short wear time. Yep. Yep. So, and I see that, of course, you have little sections here uh, broken off nicely so people can find anything. Now, it's not just about the clothing. I So, you have the shoes yep. and uh, you have some nice accessories. So, Pandora's, let's talk about that. Yep. Yeah, Pandora is also Danish. There's a lot of people that don't realize that, but they are actually from Denmark as well. Uh, so, I knew Pandora from way, way back. And w way back when I approached them, they were kind of like, what, you want it in a clothing store? I said, yeah, I want the whole thing. I started off with shoes and people would come in and say, oh, I love those shoes, I should have gotten the other dress now. And I thought, okay, I need to get shoes and clothing together. And essentially also the accessories. I want people to leave with a, a full outfit and feel great about themselves. And that for sure includes jewelry. That's wonderful. So of course we're in this season where people have got dances to go to or functions or their office wear or whatever. They have a lot of reasons to stop in here and and if they haven't yet, I sure hope that they do. Mm. Let's talk about the sizes that you have. Yeah, again, like I find that it's very important that there's something for everybody. So we have different brands, some are more useful. Uh, so they started extra small and they go up to usually larger, extra large. And then we also carry some of the lines, one of the lines that are exclusive to me as well from Denmark uh, is a line that cater to tall, curvier girls, but it also goes from extra small, but it goes up to three and four XL. And also the model in their pictures is not a size zero, she's actually a size 12, which is kind of refreshing because nice. it's a little easier to refer to. Yes, normal. Yeah. We can get normal yeah. normal models. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or normal people being models, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so some we can relate to. Oh, that's excellent. So, yeah. And um, are they always like all sizes in the, this store? No, store? what we do is we try, we don't want to overpopulate the brands because we also want you to look unique. Mm -hmm. So I only order a certain amount in and I'll spread it out between the three stores. And we bring stuff back and forth all the time. Aww. So it's never a problem. We'll always check the computer and see if we have your size and bring it in for you. Oh, perfect. Somebody falls in love with a piece. The, the possibilities are they're easy to get, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah. And is there anything else you'd like to tell the audience? Um, you have great staff here. <laughs> as a, as, so not always can you man three stores. So you've left it in charge of really wonderful people. Yeah, you are no better than the staff you hire. So. The staff is definitely my everyday uh, face out, so I hope they're doing a great job. I think they are. And uh, we just got, like this year, we ran into all three stores, had to get new um, students because they all came out and was done for school and was ready to go on in their careers. So that was a big change. So we just kind of get them back up in gear. And Well, I must admit, you also have a great uh, gift giving ideas as well. I was in here and picked up a gift card. And it's a nine wave gift card, so it's redeemable probably all three locations. It sure is. And on top of that too, what we also do, we also have a very good loyalty program. So every time people shop with us or customers come in, uh, every time they shop, they redeem reward points on their profile. And there's two sides to that. We like to have you in the system. So if there should be anything with warranty, we can reprint your receipt so you don't have to hold on to it. But also that we want to give our customers back. So we'll give you a token back onto your account every time you shop with us. And oh, eventually you can use that as free money. That's <laughs> excellent. And we all love free money. Yep. Uh, and another program that you're also part of is the Shop Local Dollar program that we, go, we have going on in List of Walls. So you're, it's, we, we appreciate it, the businesses that accept the dollars in their own store. That yeah. For sure, you got to be part of the community you're in. So we try to get involved, and yeah. Well, you've stepped in nicely, and like you've done it before, and come in, and and uh, we sure welcome you to Listowel, and we wish you all the success. Well, thank you. It's Thanks. good to be here. Well, we hope you enjoyed the January edition of What's Happening in North Perth. We hope that you have an awesome year and come visit us often. Thanking our partners in their commitment to the Chamber, supporting our endeavors towards business prosperity and a stronger community. Our partners are Listowel Technology, the North Perth Municipality, Whiteman Telecom, Ideal Supply, the Listowel Banner, Cherry Boss Lines, Canada Trust, Libro Credit Union, Conceptual Pathways, 
and Right Bite Orthodontics. The preceding program was brought to you by Whiteman TV and Bruce Telecom.